We had to take a break there to put in uh, earplugs because these ring make a lot of noise. Everybody ready? Almost. Give me the, the big Sledgehammer X death tool because this, which bar do we want to do first? I'd do the one closest to camera first. All right. Ready? There's really no comfortable way to do Let's this. Say, you want me to do it? Um, let me see if I can. That's moving a whole lot. Should ask Duck about our experience yesterday. All right, that ends off. Grab that, that end and wiggle it. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's got a good affair. Just don't drop that on your bar. foot, dude. That thing's going to weigh a couple hundred pounds. Ah, can you it. wiggle it off? Mm. I can handle this end. All right, that end's free, so just watch out. I'm going to hit it another time. See what happens. Go. There it goes. There. We still get it. That That's one. the hard one. I wish you forget about that one. Yeah. Here, you want to do one? Sure. You want him to do it? You want to do it? I don't care. Go I, for somebody it, hit the damn thing. You just want to hit it right there. Okay. Yeah. Yep. He's not the listening. The okay. further down this way you hit that, the faster it'll go. Uh, right. That's a like given, man. No, oh, maybe. Is, it, is this side going? Yeah, it's yeah, breaking. It, it hit it'll, it'll, it'll rotate hit, around hit and dump side. it. Just watch your feet. Yeah. Yeah, He's, you in Vibram five fingers yeah. are not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed what you're wearing on your feet. I was like, no, 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 no. Fine. Get a manly man. Cool. That's the sidearms. Yep. All right, and now we have officially disconnected the damn arm. <laughs> so it only took us two days. All right, we can take the earplugs out now. I'm just going to put mine in my pocket because I might need them again for something. All right, next step, I'm going to remove the bell crank. And I'm going to start on this. I want you guys to work on getting the these things out and <laughs> anything else you can. Okay. Lifters. Yeah, the counterbalance things. I'm going to work on getting the bell crank to spin. There we go. There you go. I cannot get that done. You got it? Got it. One side okay. down. Okay, do the other side. That should be all that holds that in there, isn't it? Yeah, you should yeah. be able to pull that shaft out now. Yeah. Here, hang on. Let me grab this. There you go. Got it. Yeah, got that. Now, this is the uh, hydraulic counterbalance thing, which is here. As you say, you're not shot uh, this. This is a hydraulic counterbalance. It's a hydraulic cylinder with there's a vent on one side and a fitting on the other. And it's just a big hydraulic shaft with a thing over it to protect it from nasties or whatnot. But yeah, this was used to counterbalance the robot as opposed to like a spring. So do the other one. Is fun, that fun, fun. No, that helped it come back into its rest position. It these, are like the, yeah, these are the lifters right here. Got yeah. it, okay. Oh man, this is a... What in the hell are you doing? He's getting it stuck. It bounced off the outer edge into the center and now it's stuck. Yeah, I've done that. I did that 20 minutes ago. Yeah? You uh, have any advice on... Uh, you hit a lot harder than I do. That's in there a ways. <laughs> <laughs> I'd smack the end with a hammer, wiggle it back and forth, it'll come out. Yes! Hit it his way. That's a bright idea. 
He doesn't need his hips. Nobody really likes him anyway. Yeah, that's what your mom said. That's working really well. Uh -oh. I'm glad that is, because this ain't working worth a damn, so Just try the other side. I don't know. Well, it doesn't really matter. I can't get those apart anyway. Because even if I take these rings out, this is welded in place. The centerpiece, so that's, that's staying there forever. Because I'm not cutting you welds. You not stand over there. Oh, yes. What are you doing? Oh. What, I'm, hang on, hang on. Uh, all right, go ahead and... Hey, whack a hole. Hey. Just remember, Bronson, not Borges. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That didn't work. Didn't help it, yeah. Something moved. Yeah, it was the piece using, that was used to hold the pole. Oh, the, okay. It's still stuck in there. Or Sucks is it? has to be you. Oh, it's stuck all right. <laughs> wow. We're going to have to drive it out the other way. Oh, man. We go find something to hit it with. Wow, you couldn't hit a bull in the ass with a snow shovel. <laughs> <laughs> it's jammed now. Yeah. There, I got that off. Give me that. Did you get it off or did you yeah, yeah, break no, it? Yeah, it broke it. Whoa. Yeah, it broke it. Oh, we broke the thing off and that stuck in the hole. Yes. You know, you're the one that wailed on it for 20 minutes, and I'm the one that's going to get blamed. But you're the one who broke it. Because it broke when I hit it. No, hang on. We, we, can, we can look at this like a product advisory. Who made it? Craftsman. It's a decent tool. Oh, shit, it is. Yeah. <laughs> you totally missed it. Yep. Every now and then you float one past him like that. Are you making fun of me over there? Huh? Are you making fun of me over there? Uh, never. I'm nothing but nice to you guys. Nothing but nice to you guys. And you got to make fun of me. I'm sensitive, you know. I'm delicate. Do I really need to bring up the relay incident? I'm de <laughs> Relay incident? Zach thought there was a bad switch. We'll just leave it at that. Okay. Yeah, Zach did something impressively stupid a while back. Zach managed to completely repair the Jacob's Ladder. Problem was, it wasn't broken. <laughs> wow. That didn't stop Zach from spending an hour fixing it. It wasn't an hour, it was more like 30 minutes. Oh, okay, so it was only half an hour. Nice impressive feed. Well, actually, it was more impressive that he fixed it and it still worked. Yeah, he fixed it and it still worked. Then I made him unfix it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It wasn't broke. Yeah, it was plugged in, and just the uh, spark gap was to, uh... It's what the drumstick's for. I thought it was a dirty contact in the switch. The trigger electrode was messed up. All right, guys, so that wraps day two on the Project Kevin decommissioning and equipment autopsy. I want to thank Zach and Andy, both Geek Group members. Know what your username? Super Balls? Yep. Okay, he's Super Balls in the forums, and you are Retup Moco. Re it's yes. a computer backwards, it's not a coffee thing. So yeah, that's Zach, that's Andy. Mikey's behind the camera, but you don't want to look at him anyway. So I'm Chris, you guys have fun. Write in with your comments, your questions, your love mail, your hate mail. Send us hot women liquor and jazz. So Amen. we need it, yeah. Amen. All right, you guys have a blast. We'll see you next time, and uh, when we come back on our next one, we're going to take off the whole... This arm, this is the next thing here. We're going to use the forklift to support this and take it out. We're going to take all the guts out of the middle, and we're going to be left with just the side posts and the base. And then on day four, we're going to take off what was, we don't know for sure because we've never seen down there, but it's what we believe will be the biggest ball bearing we've ever seen. It's got to be close to a meter in diameter. So you guys have a blast, and uh, you've seen the Geek Group, and we'll see you next time. Bye.